Good morning, YouTube family. Today is going to be an awesome day. It is a cold Florida day. You can tell the way I'm dressed. Got this heavy sweatshirt on. I mean, it's it's um, <clears throat> it's pretty chilly out here. But uh, waiting on a uh, guy by the name of Mike Martinez and Heiko, and we're going to head out today, and we're going to hit the Florida reefs and the offshore fishing hard today. Follow us. It's going to be an awesome, awesome day. Our chariot awaits. That's a pretty boat. First fish, let's go. All you. I see him on I see him down there on the machine. First fish. Looks like a yellow tail. There we go. There we go. Fish on. Good job. Nice. There we go. Watch that hook. All right, that's a good sign. I feel good. That's right. Nice, nice. Whoa, whoa. Like a little yanking a little drag. Oh, really? He thinks he's a real fish. He's swimming forward. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, mutton. It is a mutton. Uh, mutton. Really? I said it didn't pull like a mutton. First it mutton, mutton of the day. Look at that. That's a really good sign. Oh, yeah. Nice. Those are what? 18? 18. We're battling an epic fish here. Epic fish. Fish of the day. As you can tell, it's a little bumpy out here. Here it comes. Whatever it is. Waiting, waiting. Got leader. I got a real small hook on here, so I can't flick the man. Small hook. At leader. That nice fish. Looks like a mutton. Yep, nice mutton. Oh, I just flipped him, man. There we go. Nice fish. Keeper mutton, very nice. Oh, you have one of those stinger rigs. He ain't going nowhere with that damn treble hook down his throat. Yep. <laughs> he didn't know it was down his throat. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's down there, man. <laughs> That's the Craig Riggs special. Yeah, it is. Dan knows what's happening nice. with treble hooks and mutton. Yes, he does. <laughs> if I know, if I tied it myself, I would have tied it. <laughs> Good one, man. Excellent. Got dinner. Pretty one. Pretty fish. Uh, which box are we putting this in? Put it in here. <laughs> Feels like yellowtail, maybe. Oh, no. Oh, ah, look at that. <laughs> they can't all be winners. <laughs> oh, they say it tastes like cobia because it looks like it, right? It did look like a little cobia, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it tastes like all right. Had a hit. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the save. Yeah. Hold him tight, man. Hold tight. Oh, yeah. That's exactly how big mine was. All right. I'm going to be on standby this time. 
much pressure on it. Ooh. Yep. Waiting to see if he's white down there. He's fighting like a mud. I knew, remember what I tell you? I go, I go, I, I'm getting some. He's starting to roll. Oh my God. Look, look at Ballyhoo sticking out of his mouth. He took a whole Ballyhoo from the head. Yeah, what's wrong? Huh? Huh? Look at that. From the, from the head, he's got the whole Ballyhoo stuffed in his throat. And he wanted that Ballyhoo real bad. <laughs> All right, good deal. We're in. Oh, this to Mike. Mike and his ballyhoo catching abilities. Three months. Look at that. That's that's what he ate. He ate that whole ballyhoo. Awesome. <laughs> Yeah, what you think, Dan? That's too clean. Oh, that's too clean, man. I didn't want to catch All right, I go bring him over. Let's see him. <laughs> that looks like a Oh, that man. does. I think you're right. He's fighting like one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's white. Got a white belly. Yeah, that's Got a white belly down there. What do you got? What, what pound test do you have? Hey, just uh, just move back. Just move back. Okay. Oh, you got it. You got it. Whoa. Oh yeah. He's All right. Might be right on the dot. He might be illegal though. We're gonna say we will find out. Right there, perfect. That's how it's done. It's been an awesome day so far, man. Fresh ballyhoo, uh, cut and or live. And just picked up another 18 inches. So we got four on board. Four three. Yeah. He wants it. He wants it bad. Yeah. Big button, big flag. That looks like a big button. Something ate him, started pulling, and now you got him again. You have, uh... Maybe they let go of him. How much leader do you have? Not much. I see the weight. Okay, good. There he is. Dude, that looks like a mutton. That looks like a really big mutton. <laughs> floating up. Like yeah, that's a mutton. Ha! 
<laughs> Show us. Oh, he's, he's, he's foul, foul hook. No, no, he's not good. No, it's good. Just came up from afar. You had to get sucked up by something. Oh my God, look at him. He oh, got he's sucked, all up. Blown up. sucked up. He's Hooper. all blown up, yeah. Grouper sucked him up. That, that, that looks that looks good. Oh, I, I, I thought somebody else was on. He must have swam it up. Yep. There he comes, there he comes. What is that? That's a long fish. Hold on. It's, it's wrapped a couple times. Ah, shoot. <laughs> yep, there he is. Okay. That could be a big flag. Bring it in. That's a big, big flag. That looks like a flag. I think we got a big yellow tail. What the hell? What the hell? Now it's a shark. Is that a shark or a Shark! Damn it! Alright, well, never mind. Uh, oh. Okay, there we go. Nice right. catch and release, Mike. Yeah. You just never know. And it was a fish. It was a good fish. I thought it was. I thought it was, I thought it was a flag yellow tail. That's what I thought. What did you think he was? I thought it was a big mutton. The way his head was sinking. Back to the big mutton. We want the. We want the big mutton. No more sharks. I almost said crocodile, but. <laughs> well, no, I'm down. You catch a crocodile out here. That's that is content. Kyle, crocodile. Hey, listen, he's bending that rod big time. Slurpled? What's the definition of slurpled? Slurpled, I had a suck down. Oh, suck down and slurpled, gotcha. Without being hooked, nice fish. Whatever this is, gonna be nice fish. Take a line. Must be, must be the guy I was. All right, you gaining on him? Yeah. I, he was stuck for a moment, now he's coming. Maybe what about having to spit them up? Glimpse, I got a glimpse. Oh, he looks good, man. That is a mutton. You got a mutton? It's a mutton? Yep. Oh my it's god. It's a beauty. It came off. That's the big one. Oh yeah, he's a monster. Oh, it's a grouper! Oh, it's a monster! It's a oh, it's the a biggest grouper I've ever seen. Oh, oh man! You gonna lift them in, or you wanna try to? I lift can, them? I can lift them. Dang! I wish they were. Uh, oh. He's a fat boy. Wow! Gonna have to vent him. Gonna have to vent him. Got off? Excellent. Yeah, he just figured out he's hooked. Yeah. There is a fish on there? Yeah. That guy grouper. Oh, yep.
Ah, it's small. It's a small one. It's a small world after all. Maybe it's something Baby small group. but delicious. Baby group is what, uh, this is what my, my guess is. I would take a keeper yellowtail for that. Try them whole. Put a little of that uh, juice on there, you know? I that, that Asian no sauce, more. you know? Sweet Thai chili stuff. Oh yeah, that's like one of my favorites. Oh, a dick fish. Dick fish. With all due respect, that's the biggest dick fish I've ever seen. <laughs> Slippery dicks. Slippery dicks. All right. They are good eating birds. Fishing, look, and he swallowed an entire ballyhoo, which is probably half of his length. You got some nerve, dude. You have got to be kidding me. Oh, you see the beak sticking out of his mouth? Oh, yeah. Nerve. He is a guy. All right, adios, muchachos. Go. Yeah, he got, he's got. At least gone. they know how to swim down. I'm probably gonna catch another fish. I'm probably, probably gonna. I'm probably. Oh man. I feel like I'm probably gonna catch one. I'm probably gonna catch another fish. <laughs> Dick. <laughs> Da, 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 da. It's gotta be a mutton. That's all you've been catching today. It's not head shaking. I get the dick fish, you get the mutton. I don't want to try. No one ever takes this fish. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, Look how far cool. down that is, man. Will it be big enough? Right, move him, move him quick. Oh shit, oh shit. He looks big enough, actually. Right now he's wrapping around everybody's line. Hurry, hurry. There you go, you got him. Oh. Wait, under? I don't know. Over, under? Oh shit, he went around a couple of times, it looks like. Let's just get him, uh, let's see if I can get him on board first. that way. Not too bad, not too bad. Wait, I think it was this. It sure looks big enough. What pound lead are you using? Uh, 30. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that might be it. That might be the trick. That long leader? And 30 pound test, so they don't see it. Yeah. I think I've got 50 and I haven't been hitting them with this at all. The other one I had 30 on and I was getting them on. Dobia? Nah. Shark? Nah. Blowfish. What the hell is that? What is that? Ramara? No, shark. I know the shark. Oh, yeah, it's a shark. You got a shark. Yay. Oh, oh he just figured out that he's hooked. <laughs> Oh, now he's going to make a run for it. Dude, I'm locking you down. Here comes a drag. Come on. Yeah. Right behind you, Mike. Ew. Mm, right. Blue shark, blue shark. Snap the line, loose shark. 
days for it. Come here, dude. Come here, come here, come here. Stand on the deck. No! You don't want to come this, they're flexible. Shit. Time to call it a day. It was an absolutely freaking awesome day. I go nail the fish. Mike caught all the bait. I got two muttons, which is something. Awesome. Yeah, those two oh, are the two, like, all basically. Yeah. Ooh, don't let them slide off the back. Oh, that big one's gonna go sliding right in. And you, and you guys are gonna ship. Don't worry, they'll float. <laughs> There's nice. a day, steak. A good day. Mike, great day fishing today. Thank you very, very much. That was awesome. Great meeting you. You too. Yep, that was awesome. Yes, sir. Nice meeting you too. That was awesome day. Thank you very much. For hosting. Great. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Keeps us for every year. Yeah. Keeping them ready to go back. That's right. <laughs> Love it out here. Love fishing with these guys today. It was absolutely awesome. As you could tell. Yeehaw. All right, guys. Safe trip back. Yeah. Thanks a lot. Guys. Appreciate it. And that was an epic day of fishing. That's the way to get it done. So as a result of that fantastic fishing trip yesterday, we decided to uh, do mutton tonight. So we're gonna do some mutton snapper. We're gonna make it with a really great recipe. So uh, right now I'm just kind of cleaning up the filet. I'm uh, taking these beautiful filets and just kind of cleaning them up, getting rid of a little bit of that red. Um, there's some bones in there. And then I'm gonna take these beautiful pieces and I'm gonna show you how to do an absolutely lemon butter caper sauce with uh, mutton snapper. So follow me, it's gonna be an awesome recipe. So, we're going to make uh, our lemon butter and caper mutton snapper. What I did was is I took that mutton snapper and I these are like choice select pieces of the filet. Got rid of all the bones, trimmed it all off. One thing I learned about filets, now I don't care how good you are at filet and fish, um, a lot of times you leave like little bits of blood or, or blood or get on there when you're doing the filet. I take paper towels, wrap the filets in paper towels, put them in a Ziploc and put them in the refrigerator overnight because two things, I want to um, firm up the fillets, but I also want to get that blood on, the, that little bit of blood that sits on the, uh, on the meat. I like the, way, the meat perfect. So anyway, that's just me. But choice fillets is what, is what we're going for. And then the total ingredients are just flour. And in this case, we're using almond flour because Elizabeth is trying to keep us on a low or no carb diet for our health reasons. So we're gonna try it with, um, almond flour i've never tried it with almond flour before so we're going to see how that comes out but if you're not into that health stuff then just regular flour is uh, is what you should be using and that's right here and then uh, i put a little paprika in the flour i take a little salt a little pepper we're going to use garlic we're going to use uh, parsley fresh parsley i'm going to use this lemon uh capers or someplace i'm going to find the capers downstairs <laughs> and oil and we need oil Let's get started. I'm going to show you how it all kind of comes together. Cut in half. There we go. We're going to use this whole lemon. I'm going to take all the flakes now and just get some salt, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of paprika on there for color and flavor. Not the smoked paprika, just the regular paprika. Pat it in there a little bit. All right, got them all flipped over. Time to uh, get a little, little salt. Nice. A little cracked pepper. And normally I would put some garlic powder on here, but we're going to use garlic in the cooking process. So, again, a little paprika. This is gonna be a great dish. This is gonna be awesome. All right, pat them in there again. Nice. Just dredge these in the 
in this case, almond flour. And as Elizabeth has pointed out, this may give it like a little bit of a nutty flavor. So this might be kind of interesting to try it like this. Mm. Let's piece there. Just dredge it in. I think probably one of my favorite fishes to catch is, is the mutton snapper. Pretty well sought after down here. This time of the year, they're in shallower water, the winter, uh, than they are in the summer when you have to go out to like 150, 160 feet of water. But uh, we got these guys in, as you saw, in patch reefs, and in the deepest was about 120. So, all right, so there they are. Here's the main ingredients right here: a little bit of garlic, capers, almond flowers there, lemon, and, and one of the most important ingredients, butter. Who doesn't like butter? So put this in at the end. Get the capers. All right. So now I'm going to ask you to literally follow me because I have to go downstairs and cook on my barbecue on my side burner because Elizabeth and I have been working on our house and we don't have a stove in the house right now. So follow me downstairs. Meet you down there. We're going to put this all together and we're going to come up with a great meal. And poof, just like that, we are downstairs. And as you can see, we are at my lovely barbecue. And so uh, we're going to fire this thing up. Hopefully. Hopefully it won't blow us up. All right, cool. I'm trying to stay warm out here because it's cold here in Florida. Oh! All right, so I'm going to use a little avocado oil. You can use any oil of your choice, vegetable oil, olive oil. We prefer to use a little avocado oil. The reason is twofold. It doesn't leave any additional flavor in your food, and the point, the heating point, is really, really high. So we like to do that. All right, so we're going to heat this up a little bit. We're going we're to drop a little garlic in here. This is already pre-chopped. I don't do that often, but we had it, so I thought it would be a good idea. Great aroma. So before it starts to actually get brown brown, I want to get that fish started because I don't want to burn the garlic. I'm going to put these thick pieces in first. Center in the middle. Ah, looking good and smelling good already. What do you think, Elizabeth? Good? Smells good. Yeah. Okay. Now it's just a waiting game. So I want to brown them real good on this side, then we'll do the flip. All right, so it's been exactly five minutes, which may seem a little long for fish, but I'm having a little trouble with this particular burner. But you can see that it's kind of getting crispy around the edges, so we're going to, we're going to do a flip right now. Oh, that looks freaking amazing. All right, very cool. Yep. We're worried about this one. We got one right now. Yeah. Okay. Good. Like I said, this burn is burning a little uneven, but uh, this looks like it's coming out absolutely great. All right, cool. So I'm just going to drop a little parsley in there just to kind of get it wilted and flavored up a little bit. Love parsley and seafood. There we go. Drop some lemon in there. I'm putting on a half to start. But if anything, I'm going to drop a whole lemon in here. Squeeze it as good as I can. Get the seeds out. Time for a few capers. Personal, listen, capers is kind of a personal choice. 
You don't have to put them in, but I just find that it adds a lot of flavor and depth to the seafood itself. I'm going to put a little bit more parsley in there, just because I like parsley. And then in a minute, we're going to drop two tablespoons of butter. I think I'm going to cut this butter in half and just spread it around. Milk that down. God, it smells amazing. sauce on top of the fish a little bit, kind of basting it. Don't want to move it around too much. I just want to get the lemon and the butter infused together and that's just perfect. There it is. And that's it. That's all there is to it. It's a lemon butter caper sauce and it's freaking fantastic. So all right we're gonna go upstairs and uh, we're gonna we're gonna try this. All right, so make sure that you don't burn the butter. That's really important. And then look how nice and easily it just kind of flakes away. It's beautiful. Wow. Yeah, that's just perfect. Look at that. Just beautiful. So, all right, I'm going to give it a shot. So, mutton snapper is white, really delicious great tasting fish you have to try this what do you think that is so good mm. what do you think of the um, of the almond flour oh oh that's a good point I didn't <laughs> I forgot all about the almond flour it's absolutely great. Um, I would have to have it side by side with regular flour, but in the absence of that, this is this is great. Look at the way it even browned. I mean, it all browned up really nice. I'm going to try another piece, okay, just because I have to. But it's mm hmm yeah. And so look how it browned. It browned beautifully, just like regular flour. And I had forgotten. I forgot that we even used the almond flour when we tasted it. It didn't even occur to me that it was different. So I'd like to have them side by side to see like one regular flour and one almond flour. But here's the deal. I would do this again just like that on purpose. So uh, the almond flour is a, 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 that's a home run. All right, something new. So there you have it. Uh, mutton snapper made with uh, a lemon butter caper sauce. So good. So good. First time, by the way, first time we tried this. So yeah. it looks really, really good. This is going to go down in the recipe book. So yeah. you know the deal. Thanks a lot. Follow uh -huh. us. You drinking a beer already this morning? I know. <laughs> it's my man. I was going to, but then we were just standing there. I don't think so. Ah, oh, I think it's a barracuda. Ah, I got off. <laughs>